Hello everybody, I am Brayman19 and welcome to episode 8 of our Maja Pahit campaign in European Universals 4. So, right now we are getting ready to uh, start getting the last of our tech, which is our main goal right now is get that, and then start working up ideas so I can start doing some nice exploration. Uh, unfortunately, Brunei finds itself in a very powerful alliance group with Pasai and Malacca. Uh, Sulu, not so much. And uh, the only real way to get in there and take that on is to maybe attack Sulu. Um, I would love to get up here, though, and take some of, uh, you know, some land up here in the Philippines. But I really would like to just go ahead and start exploring and getting my, uh, getting some colonial, you know, some expansion through colonialism or something like that. That seems to be the best way I can end up taking on these guys. Uh, the three of them are going to be really strong, but if I own all of this stuff... And I'm super strong myself. I have a colonial nation, perhaps, maybe a couple of colonial nations. Um, I can use that to my advantage by owning, like, you know, and having a ton of land and just taking them out one at a time. Uh, the biggest thing is it's just navies are difficulty. So, anyways, let's go ahead and jump into. We are building our navy a little bit here. Yep, there you go. 12 caravels, about to be 13. Um, I could afford more, I guess. And I probably should do that. 10 cogs. I'd love to just add 5 more. So I could do this in 2 runs. That's what I should probably always achieve, like, strive to achieve. Is just, whatever my force limit is, be able to do it twice. So lose a little bit of money. Speaking of force limit, it's at 22 and 2. That combat width's at 25. So I could add one more here. Then I need to add 5 more here. If I'm doing something contrary to the last episode, by the way, it is a brand new, um... Oh, the province of Makassar has been added. It is a brand new play, uh... was it? Uh, play session for me. So I've kind of forgot what I did last time. It's been a couple days. Lopo cost me 539. It's gonna cost me that much more. Mission fulfilled for build force limit. Go ahead and do that one, because I'm pretty sure I could do that. Get some tax in Surabaya. Every, actually get everything in Surabaya. Treasury is now up to 4.37 and we are adding more ships. We're just kind of letting these uh, powers and all move along on itself. I think the next idea I'm going to get is going to be economic. Just, you know, I gotta do something administrative. Economic and an expansion are great. Uh, national tax modifier. Eventually, expansion might be good. Or, hmm. I can't really afford to do... If I had plus six, I would do it. Because then I'd have an extra colonist. I could colonize three at once. Actually... Definite relations... Global settler increase. An extra mer Actually, this is probably stronger... Uh, while national uh, tax modifier and uh, construction and yearly inflation is great, I don't see it being super effective just yet. It'll be my second admin, though. I can guarantee that. So expansion's next. We're going to go into some serious growth. Because I don't know, what was my inflation like? 3.09? I could buy it down quicker. Oh, that's going to go ahead and do that. 400. So now I do have a, uh... Do have that. Let's go ahead and send these guys to here for now. Where I can afford an explorer. Wait, why can't I afford an explorer? This will cost me 50... Oh, 50 Diplo, duh. I thought I was like thinking 50 military. I was like, well, I've got that, duh. You see right there, I got 147. No, that's not the case. Oh, man, you can tell it's a new play. Oh, uh, what is this? Peasants? Uh, tell you what, I'm going to help you. Once these, uh... Yeah, flutes are done. Lose five admin, lose 10 prestige, I'll lose the five admin. I don't like it, but, you know, gotta deal with it. 
These guys are not really at risk at the moment. They don't have enough people and they're actually dying off. 1955, 554. Let's see. Yeah, they're dying off. They're not going to take it anytime soon. It's just causing him to not be able to build up. Lose some money. That devastation stuff sucks. That's a terrible mechanic. Like, you, you don't get anything good from it either, though. Like, it should, you know, you should have a better chance for it to come back and help your nation. Like, organizing a relief effort should increase your prestige or something. Alright, let's go help them. Yep, I'll fight it down for you. I've got plenty of manpower. There you go right there. Can invest. New idea. Let's go and grab expansion. There we go. We're locked into it now. There's nothing we can do. We have to live with the decision. Which is probably one of the hardest things for people in this game is living with their own decisions for what they do. Okay, you can now get yourself an explorer, right? Yes. Explorer. Um, I'm going to do sea tiles first. Because, I mean, I already can find all of this. It's not really a big deal for me to go out there and do anything else. But being able to have the sea tiles lets me see coastal more coastal in the places. Just a smarter route. Now I probably will go for this place first, Hal, uh, Hal Meher, because I can go after Tidor and Ternate easily from that spot. I can, I can actually form claims. Nine peasants in Banton. Banton, if I remember right, it's all the way over there. I do have plenty of manpower. Lots of money rolling in. Um, I could lose some money, national tax modifier, and get possible advisors and yearly prestige. Or lose some prestige, lose some loyalty, lose some influence. They have high enough uh, influence as it is. And they're bare, probably just bare. Yeah, 39.5. Come on, get over yourselves. Okay, there's a revolt. Put it down with only losing 900 troops. Less than 900 troops, I lost like 843 to 9,000. Good show. Yeah, so like I take this, and then I'd probably take something up here too. Just to get me up there with them. And then I'd start taking, you know, the higher development provinces. Okay. Unless these guys like get rid of, I won't really care at that point, but yeah, the higher development are like right through here. Some on this one, some over here. Oh wow, we went all the way around that, huh? Okay. Just did all that. Let's go explore. The, uh, doesn't really matter. Let's just go explore the coast of where we can explore. Lost some prestige. Age of Reformation would help me if I were, were to start that stuff, but we're making over seven ducats at the moment. I could actually do two at a time. Rather easily. Free advisor. Yeah, I'm going to go ahead and bring a manpower modifier here for you. 27,605. And this guy, yeah, driving 6.58 now. So I can still do two. I just couldn't do three if I wanted to do that. They say you should always do one more than you're able to. 
if as long as your money can hold it. South China Sea. I can't imagine what all I'm not going to be able to see here, but we'll see. Let's, let's, we'll find out what that is. I see the Mamluks out here. Or Moose. I've somehow seen a lot of that. Uh, still six years ahead, so I'm going to do this one, Yearly Army Tradition. Let's have you explore. Oh, wait, there's a lot of sea I can't haven't done yet. All right, let's do Eastern Indian Ocean. I was wondering why I, had, I could see what I did through here. We must have gone around to here, and then it was faster to get home this way, and we knew that. I don't really care what turn 8 thinks and gives us uh, some unrest going down too. We've explored all we could there. This is what happens when you wait forever to start exploring. That must have been just this one place I couldn't see. I think they're going through here now. Killa seems to own a lot of Madagascar. But not all of it. There's some other folks in here. I could afford one more troop. I'm at force limit. Is it lose some navy tradition? What's going to happen at this level? Is yeah, combat width will go up by two. That's when I'll probably worry about that. I won't worry about it until then. I'm looking for plus four hundred here and four hundred there. Then I'll stop. Let myself get the next tech, and then we'll move from there. Bhutan, really? You guys, what is your problem here? Why do you keep letting peasants rise? No, oh, stay there. Stay on Kendari. It's easier when you're on Kendari. I might end up having to take that spot just so I don't have to worry about uh the nastiness that comes with natives on this island. Yeah, we'll quickly overwhelm these guys. Yeah, I barely lost 500 troops. You know, they are a subject. I should be able to see what the problem is there. Yeah, I don't see anything down here though. I have uh, show subject revolts in there as well. Uh, colonists for here. Um, Normally I like to go for native coexistence where I have zero chance for them rising up. But we're gonna do repression. This time I'm gonna do repression. Okay. We will send here. And I'm going to pull off the standard five. There we go, and we arrive just so we don't have to worry about that. Let's send these guys back here. And how fast are we going to go here? Um, we get plus 40 a year automatically. 
Native repression policy giving us plus 20, so we're it's going to take at max 20 years, but we know it won't take that long. It'll go pretty quick, I think. Especially considering, you know, I'll be getting another colonist, we'll send him somewhere else. Explore the West Indian Ocean. Look at that, found all this land. He's dealing with rebels, that's very good. Palembang, please separate. Okay, and then this guy here, we'll do another colonist with him. That's 13. You know, getting a colonial nation would be a good idea. Five years, get that, or spend more, or spend nothing and get th that. We'll go ahead and do the the one that's going to keep it with the least amount, so it can still get something. Um, It might also be in my best interest to go out here and try to get some of these islands to stop the uh, eventual European uh, colonizations going around too. If they can't reach me, that's better, right? We got a consort, 562. National unrest, national unrest, some prestige and legitimacy drop. Or we can not, we could not marry a lowborn and not have that problem. Palembang, if I could only... Ugh, that's going bad for you. Unfortunate, but Palembang, you didn't do it that time. Hopefully you'll have a chance to rise up after a war or something. Oh, I should have done for the coast of this. Whoops. We'll do that next time. Wait, why next time? Explore... Um, you explore, what is this? Um, Southwest Pacific Coast. I think you need to be going over here and I'll start building up the uh, colony on this side. A wise decision. Such a horrible fate. Yeah, our military leader died. Just as he was discovering this. Um, he'll make his way back to there. This guy's just outside of colonial range, isn't he? Yep. Just barely. But that's within range. Quadjuk. Yeah, I'm gonna send that guy there. It's only five, but it's a stepping stone. And I'll make one here, one there, and then one here, then the other two right there. That'd probably be the better move. So, head to Wajuk. You can go ahead and grab another explorer. And you can go explore the sea of the South Indian Ocean. 
There you go. So now we're working our best towards trying to get a couple of uh, different colonies going. We do have one right there. It's going to go pretty quickly. It's almost at 3.30 already. I'd love for it to tell me, like, oh, it, we expect it at this time. It doesn't have to know it. Just would love to know when to expect it. Um, we'll send you here. Yep, there's our nice colony. We're getting plus 50 a year there. That shouldn't take, like, t any time at all. So, we're still making two ducats a month right now. Let's see, this next thing is going to increase colonial range, so that's good news. It's two years away, I just need to let it grow. After that, we're probably looking at, well, one more, te uh, in one more tech before the printing press pops, and then we'll have to spawn it somewhere. Someplace rather dull. 2-2, two, two. oh, that wouldn't work because it's not the right uh, kind of province. Probably like right here at Pakwan. Yeah, Pakwan's looking like the best place for that. Wait, Pakwan is 332. Okay. And Bali's 333. Everywhere else is too high. But at least it'll go by pretty quickly, because Kindal and Pajang are both pretty high. I'd love to be attacking more people right now. I just can't afford that. Arabian Sea Coast. All right, guys. I'm going to go ahead and end this one right here, though. I appreciate y'all so much for watching. Do not forget to like, subscribe, and comment. Maybe check out a link for Discord in the description below. And I'll see you all next time.